I know it is kind of weird you guys are wondering what is the point like as a fashion stylist I'm talking about masks but it's just when it comes to the fashion masks the ones with designs with colors with etc and not the medical surgical masks that you guys be buying out there there are certain fabric once it is stained it is pretty 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 hard to remove the stain no matter the amount of bleach that you added on the product when it's time for you to clean it my name is Marinelle and today's video will be more of a fashion trick video let's say well I would love to share a few tools that I use to make sure that the fashion mask that I have paid plenty of money for even though it's just a little fabric and I'm sure it is the case for you as well and if you want design it's gonna cost more and more money but unfortunately those fashion mask ones it is there are certain stain let's say that it is basically impossible to remove them and the mask is not so pretty anymore therefore I would love to show a few tools that I use to make sure that they remain clean well as clean as possible now I wasn't too sure if I was going to make this video because I feel like we've been we've been in lockdown well let's say it's been mandatory for us to wear a mask for almost a year now so this topic is kind of boring for some people outdated for some people corny for um, others and it's just not interesting but I still wanted to share um, those tools and hopefully it is new to some of you uh, there are plenty of tips um, that are available out there to make sure that you guys use your mask properly and I would not repeat those tips but I just want to introduce mainly three to four tools tools in this video now the first tool that I want to introduce you guys to is the mask bracket now people usually use a mask bracket as a way to create more space between your face and the mask so that you can breathe easily therefore that is one good reason why I would recommend you guys to get the mask bracket um, but the main reason why I use it is because there are certain places that you go to that you would still love to wear a little bit of makeup and with that mask bracket it just avoid um, it, it just create less stain on the mask like for example your lipstick or your foundation as it creates an extra space between your mouth your space and the mask right there so this is a good reason why i would recommend you guys to get it um there are certain restaurants well, that are still open in certain areas um you can remove the mask when you're sitting at the table but if you're standing up you have to wear the mask if you're going to the bathroom or leaving or going inside the restaurant you have to wear the mask um so if you would love to look a little if you would love to look pretty early let's say during your date or gathering with friends you're most likely gonna wear makeup therefore this mask bracket will definitely become handy when you guys are going out to certain places this is one of the main reason why I would love to recommend it other than the fact that it creates extra space so allows you to breathe easier and it is more comfortable for you um, guys when you're wearing a mask now the thing is when you wear a mask bracket since it creates extra space unfortunately it might um, the mask strap might hurt behind the ears a little bit especially if your mask were already too tight in that case I would also recommend you guys to get the second tool that I love to use which is the strap extender now the strap extender I'm um, like I think it's pretty self-explanatory I don't need to say more when it comes to the strap extender but I'm still gonna show you guys uh, an example of how you can use it now I have this mask right there and it is extremely tight you guys when I wear it and I decide to speak even when I don't speak you can see the the total shape of my nose the shape of my mouth you can see the color of the lipstick through it it is ridiculous um therefore it is kind of too tight and that's why i love the a strap extender the strap extender there are different ones available i will definitely put the link of this one in the description below as i love it it is in silicone as well so it's not going to hurt or leave any mark behind your head or around your face and there are three different levels for extra tightness or if you want it more loose and all you have to do is just place the strap right there inside and that's it you can just wear your mask which will become handy if you do plan on using a mask bracket then if you don't use the mask bracket the strap extender create more space also between your skin and your face which 
it's a good thing when you're going out so that there's less stain, less makeup stain in your mask. Please keep in mind that most masks, they are not created with one person measurement in mind. It is general measurements, therefore there is a chance that it might not fit you as it was not specifically created for you. If it is too tight, then you have the extender that can definitely, definitely help. Now the last tool that I would love to introduce you guys to is one of the most important but somehow you guys just neglect that specific tool and I'm not sure why because again it is important it is a mask cover please stop putting your mask on the table when you're out of the restaurant or just putting it placing your mask inside your bag after you done use it and you removed it or inside your car um, on the seat right next to you or on your bed or just you guys whatever you, wherever where you want to place it please use a mask cover it kind of defeat the purpose of you know a mask remaining clean to protect you When you place it inside your bag, anything can fall um, onto the mask and then next thing you know it is stained. Um, the restaurant, same thing, your mask will remain clean. Um, your, even if you leave it on your like on your bed, it's still not a good idea. And no, I mean, the mask cover, for whatever reason, these people don't use it, but you should definitely use it. Especially since you use a mask to protect yourself. Just please use a mask cover to make sure that your mask always remain clean. Now, there are different type of mask covers, but I can introduce you guys to my two favorites, well, the one that I own. Um, the first mask cover that I have is this one right there. It is kind of, it can be, it can be considered as big which is why um i had to buy another one but that is definitely a good one let's say if you need to leave a mask inside your car just in case you might forget your mask when you're going out therefore you can definitely use that one now the second mask cover is this one as you can see all you have to do is fold the mask in two and then put it inside the mask cover and close it now both of them they are not heavy and they are pretty good quality and durable therefore i would definitely recommend them and i'll put the link in the description below if you guys would love to check it out now i would love to finish this video by sharing with you guys a few tips on how you should take care of your fashion mask yes washing machine dryer is definitely a good idea but i don't know how often you use your washer and your dryer and considering the fact that you have to wash your mask regularly I'm not sure if you are in the mood to the washer and the dryer just for one specific item or how often you do the laundry where you are located like in your household I'm not sure about that therefore washing by hand um, is not recommended to use a mask uh, more than two times especially your fashion mask when it comes to the medical ones or the one with filters you can use it at least up to three to four times but please note that the fashion mask is just fabric it's just tissue it is not really there to protect you especially if you don't use a filter with those masks um, therefore you, you need to wash it either after each use if you use it for a long period of time meaning more than four to five hours um, if you if you use it for a shorter for a short period of time therefore maybe to use but it is really the max and you should definitely wash it by hand if you're not gonna use the washer and the dryer right away or if you don't have any other fashion mask to use now when you're washing it by hand all you have to do is really place a detergent let me show you take this one for example if you want to wash it I would definitely recommend to put the detergent right there where your mouth was and on the other side as well or well, more on the other side than where your mouth was to be honest but you should definitely put the detergent both sides and just scrub it well scrub it really hard but just scrub it and scrub it and scrub it until you kind of sure that it is clean or let's say until when you rinse it out the water is clean that's when you're sure that your mask is really really clean and ready to use now you can definitely hang it to dry dry hair there's no problem now if you want to use a dryer that's fine but again are you gonna use a dryer for just one specific item since you need to use to wash your mask um, regularly especially if you don't have a lot of masks 
so those are the tips that I would love to share with you when it comes to washing your mask now the type of detergent that you need to use is the soft one without any added bleach without any bleach unless you are washing a white mask but still just use one without any bleach which is basically the same type of detergent that I recommend you guys to wash your underwear you need to make sure that you use a detergent that is labeled as gentle or delicate make sure that you use a detergent that does not contain any bleach even for your white underwears and a detergent also that doesn't contain any softeners I did make a video about that I'll probably put it right there on the description below if you guys would love to check it out I know it is kind of weird you guys are wondering what is the point like as a fashion stylist I'm talking about masks but it's just when it comes to the fashion masks the ones with designs with colors with etc and not the medical surgical masks that you guys be buying out there this is the way that you guys should definitely wash it and also if you guys want to make sure that there is less stain as possible because again there are certain fabric once it is stained it is pretty 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 hard to remove the stain no matter the amount of bleach that you added on the product when it's time for you to clean it or no, no amount of detergent let's say that you use when it's time to clean it now i hope that you enjoyed this video which is kind of a video that kind of it's on you it's an unusual video when it comes to the tips and tricks that i share on this platform but again i really wanted to share those tips to help some of you guys i truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you like this video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in another video